All right. So this video is not going to have any edits. It's not going to have any graphics. Frankly, it's going to be very, very personal. I should probably even put it on my vlog channel, which actually that's probably where it's going to go. It's probably going to go on the vlog channel. So chances are most of you are aware of the you know, shooting that happened in, what was it, Christchurch in New Zealand. And shootings, here's the thing, the thing about shootings is that they happen way too often, and all of them are tragic. And every time one happens, you know, there's a bunch of feelings that you have. You feel angry, you feel helpless, you feel frustrated. You want to blame someone. In some cases, you just feel tired. Especially tired that it just seems to keep happening. And you know what's going to happen again. Um, I'm not always the most profound person when it comes to tragedies. Uh, when, I, when I found out about the incident as it was unfolding yesterday, I was, of course, on Twitter and Facebook. And on both Twitter and Facebook... People were understandably upset, and people were starting to blame whoever they wanted to blame at that point. They wanted to blame the guns. They wanted to blame mental health and how we're not taking it seriously. They want to blame PewDiePie. They want to blame the alt-right. They want to blame the far left. They want to blame CNN. They want to blame Fox News. They want to blame Chelsea Clinton. They want to blame Donald Trump. It's just, I know that we get upset when these things happen, and we want to point the fingers. We want to look at something that definitively says, this is why this happened. And if we got rid of this, everything would be better. I know that's not true, because as much as people despise the Trump years... We had mass shootings during the Obama years. A few of them, in fact. And so, it doesn't matter what president is there. People will shoot people. Then, you have PewDiePie. The shooter claimed subscribe to PewDiePie before he shot people. I don't know why. Personally, I think one of the reasons is not because he was necessarily inspired by PewDiePie's personality to shoot people. I think he was inspired by Let's Play videos and decided he wanted to make a live action, a live Let's Play, if you will. I mean, the way he live streamed it and filmed it, it kind of makes sense, but I can't blame YouTube or PewDiePie for this. No more than I can blame Doom or Grand Theft Auto for Columbine or other shootings that happened in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, as the day begins... And you're already reading all these comments. And I won't name names from people who are sharing the comments. Some people who are liking certain comments. Comments that I think were full of anger and frustration. And understandably so. But which didn't actually help anything, in my opinion. So, I got off Twitter and Facebook for the day. I wrote a review for How to Train Your Dragon 3. Four star review. Felt good to recommend that movie. A little late to do so, but who knows. Of course, I was dealing with some of the lawyer stuff with Spotify, so that kind of helped keep my mind off things. Um, in, the in the middle of the day, I kind of decided at one point, I need to listen to some positive music. And, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to find positive music and popular stuff, so I started turning to Christian music, because, which, you know, I know some people might not find any comfort in what that whatsoever, but I'm kind of like, <laughs> I need a positive message, if nothing else. Uh, somehow I landed on Sandy Patty, who uh, my parents listened to growing up. I'm familiar with some of her music, but not a lot of it. And she's done so much, by the way. So many albums. It's hard to pinpoint. I mean, I like the album Another Time and Another Place. As far as albums go, that's probably the only one I'm super familiar with, so I decided to Google what is Sandy Patty's best album. And Ranker 
said um, this glorious morning which I started listening to and by the way it is overall a very good album and that's when I discovered pretty much almost completely by accident um, lo love of any language um, I think that's what it was called I, I don't know you You'd think I'd know this considering how many times I was listening to it throughout the day, but um, it's a simple song, admittingly, and it's overproduced, and some would say it's even a little schmaltzy. I can understand in a time of grief why some people would not even take to it, to be perfectly frank. But it was really comforting to just have something positive again to listen to. And here's the thing. As overproduced and as schmaltzy as the song is, it does hit at a core truth that really our governments keep us divided and we do have our differences. But when we speak love of any language and we take the time to love other people and to be loved in return, then, you know, we find... We really, that's when we really come together. And so I'm listening to this song over and over again on this day that is pretty horrible, to be frank. I'm going to say to be frank a lot. And I'm kind of realizing I don't want to blame anyone for this, <laughs> this tragedy, if you will. Well, it is a tragedy. I don't know why I said, if you will. Um, well, there's many things it could be called, but I don't want to blame the president for this. I don't want to blame Beauty Pie. I don't want to blame a think group tank. I mean, I could obviously blame the shooter because the shooter decided to do this, but I don't know why he did it. I don't even pretend to know. But. One thing that I do sense when I watch, look at all these shootings is that the people who do them are not loved and don't show love in return. I think, I think a lot of these people are very, very unhappy. Some of them might even be sick. And I kind of decided, you know, I don't want to join the chorus of people who know the answer and know why there's so much hate in the world. I just want to love and I want to listen. And that starts with me, of course. I mean, I would like to think I don't do it as much as other people, but I'm sure I don't always show love to people that I disagree with. I don't always show love or respect to people who I feel are wrong about certain things. I don't see any of that, to be honest. I think it's time that I kind of start taking a step back and start just being nicer to start with. And then trying to love people even though, even though, you know, they might be, uh, might not get along. And... I don't want to be sharing political stories on Facebook or Twitter anymore. What's the point of the platforms? I mean, those things were made to bring people together and to reconnect with friends. Why post a lot of stuff that's just going to drive wedges between you and those people you love? So, and I know I can't change the world by myself. Heck, my attempts might even be minuscule. You know, at the very best but I really do want to be that change if you will I want to start speaking love not hate compassion not bitterness so I don't know why that why that kid decided to kill 49 people I, I don't know and I'm not going to pretend to know, and I'm not going to pretend anyone is to blame except the person who did it. In the meantime, people need a lot of love, a lot of compassion. 
And yeah, they, they might even need new gun laws, who knows. But I, I, I think if we loved each other a little bit more, if we listened a little bit more, if we embraced each other's differences a little bit more, then I don't know. I think that I think that would do much more for people in general than the finger pointing and the name calling. Just a thought. Like I said, I'm not always I'm not a particularly a profound person or anything like that. It, it's just I mean when I go on Facebook and Twitter, I kind of remember when Columbine happened. And when it was one on one and we weren't talking politics, we were, were all in agreement this was horrible. We disliked what happened and we were there for one another. Now it's like I see someone go on and it's like, well, I blame PewDiePie for this or I blame Trump. And then other people are like, no, no, it's not PewDiePie or Trump. It's Chelsea Clinton or it's CNN. And it's like, I'm not seeing a lot of compassion or loving and really this should be binding us we should all be in agreement this is a terrible thing and we don't want it to happen anymore at least that's what i think and i'm going to try to live like that from this point on so there we go like i said not particularly profound just just some thoughts so I mean, I will say, if anyone wants to comment below, you will be respectful. If there's any snarky comment whatsoever, you will not only have it deleted, you will more than likely be banned. So just giving you a heads up right now. So take care, everyone, and let's love one another.